Yo, what's up guys? You're watching Game Time and we're back with another Try Not To Cringe. I don't know what I'm titling this, but essentially this is just cheap families. This is literally cheap families. Like families, like when I mean cheap, you think, oh, they don't want to spend an extra $5 at a restaurant. No, when I mean cheap, I mean like they can make an entire toilet paper roll last 10 years to type of cheap. Like they, they separate the ply from the toilet paper. But that's what we're going to be looking at, the extreme cheapskates of America. Okay. There's no way. There is no way. I can see myself in the plate. That is disgu- You're not- You're not even cleaning the plates. What if one of the kids peed in there? You're straight up washing your dishes and piss. I'm Melanie O'Brien. And I'm Sean O'Brien. And, and we're, we're America's, America's cheapest, cheapest family. family. Why are you so proud of that? In the summertime, when the kids are playing outside in the pool, we can utilize that afterwards to, to help clean our dishes. We save money on the water bill. We save money on the electric bill. Are we going to become millionaires off of it? Not per se, but it's it's going to help. Then us why to are do you it. doing it? Why are you doing? It? Why? Why why are you doing it? There's there is no point to being this cheap. Like at this point, just sell your house, have a bank account, and then live under a freeway. No rent, no water, no nothing. That's what the fuck. Able to allocate that money towards a, a better purpose. See, fun and work. Who wants bacon? I do. I do. Sean and I agree that if we don't have to buy anything new, then we won't. And we'll make use with what we have. That's our lifestyle, that's our way. Our pots and pans broke, the handles broke off, and instead of going out and buying brand new pots and pans, Sean made this wrench that doubles as a handle. There's no and way. And the duct tape protects my hands from burning. There is no it. way. There is, you cannot be serious. Like this has to be a joke. This has to be a joke. And the way she said it, she was like, this keeps my hands from getting hot, from getting burned. That means that they must have actually used this for a long time and burnt their hands on it so that they would come up with this. Dude, just buy it. They're like 10 bucks. 10 bucks, just buy one. Bacon's ready. Just buy one. It's been more than 10 it's, years. It's and not Sean even and hard. Have made any significant improvements to their home. A sacrifice they claim is safe. That bacon is burnt as shit, by the way. Dollars. This is where we spend most of our time in the living room. Um, as you can see, we've got very sparse furniture. That's a fucking lawn chair. They have a lawn chair. In the middle of their shit, there's a lawn, there's just a straight up lawn chair. Like, it's just, it's just there. Dude, there's no fucking way. Living room furniture can cost up to ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, depending on what kind you're buying. Um, ours costs maybe 50 bucks. A few months ago, our shower head broke, and Sean came up no. with a great way to fix it. For the price of a soda bottle, Dude. he rigged it up to the shower head and just poked holes in there and now we have a brand new shower head this kind of Dude, this is for, the but it works and i appreciate it this is the dumbest this is just so stupid how how could someone live like this like i can guarantee you the people in like third world countries that have no food no water nothing are just like they are still living a better life than you just buy just buy a shower head dude they're like 50 bucks on Amazon just just buy one just buy a shower head just this is ridiculous this is stu this is some people might think our behavior is over the top but extreme or extreme but I think it all depends on no you're just crazy perspective Boom. no you're just For insane to 99.9 percent of the people that live anywhere moving into a larger space why? But selling their current home would require them to make renovations they've avoided for the past decade. Our realtor is going to come over and... Dude, the, dude, these people should just not be allowed to buy a home, period. Like, no homes for these people. Like, they just don't deserve a home. <laughs> like, I know that sounds cruel, but like... They just, they just, I feel bad for the home, and the home isn't even a, it's not even a thing. I just feel bad for the home. Give us an assessment and evaluate what we need to do before we actually put our house on the market. Yeah, here's the yard. Okay. Um, oh, watch Dude, what is with that fence? Yeah. 
Our fence is a little piecemeal together. So I just replace boards as they come. Leans a little, but it's sturdy. You're going to have to repaint the fence. I mean, if not replaced. Ooh, it's, uh, how much is we looking to replace? Around 1800 bucks. Just repaint the it, bro. In the backyard is just repaint it. eclectic. The colors look like a marble. Wait, what did you just say? Fence in the backyard is definitely eclectic. The colors look like a marble cake that you would get at a bakery. It brings character to the neighborhood. Dude. Dude. There's no way. I just... H how? I don't understand. I, I physically... Like, this video is physically making me want to puke. Just be normal. Paint your damn fence. Buy a shower head. Dude, this has to be like some sort of child abuse, right? Like, if child services was called on these people, like, their children would be taken away, right? Like, there's... I'm just... And the kickboard at the bottom, that's probably holding the whole fence together. It's not even in the right place. It needs to be a little bit closer to the bottom. I'm not mm -hmm. averse just to a little bit. changes, uh, but everything has to be taken into consideration with budgets and cost. What is your budget to fix this? I think his budget is like, it's like what, $5? Like what the actual shit, bro? Just be normal. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, will, are you ever, will you ever be this cheap? And if the answer is anything other than no, you need to go see a psychiatrist. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.